Okay. Let's go. So, um, well, <laughs> guess they're not going in there. Um, I just made two days of videos that will never be seen because I never had my uh, drive mounted. <laughs> See? <laughs> so much fun. Alright. Down to business. Let's go get ourselves a live CD. Let's get ourselves a live CD. Okay, what we need to do in this uh, version of LFS, we're going to get us a 14.04 .04, um, oh, what happened? Why are you downloading? Okay. We're going to get us a 14.04.2 .04 Okay. Alright. For this version, I'm going to be building a 32-bit um, system. Okay. But these uh, toots are good for a 64-bit system and I'll specify while installing what you need to do if you are a 64-bit user. Now if you are a 64-bit user and you intend on building for a 64-bit system you need to download the above LFS I mean Ubuntu okay for 64-bit. I'm going to be building this on a Pentium 4 machine which is a 32-bit and I'm going to use a 32-bit um, version Boo 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 <laughs> of Ubuntu. So let's see how that goes. Okay. So let's let that cook off. Now I am going to also be SSHing into a machine and building it remotely. I'll show you how to do that. Let's see, uh, where is the address? I think it's 104, isn't it? Okay. I'll show you how to build that remotely if you want. Well, I'll show you how to build that remotely. And right now I'm going to prepare my system. On this system I have, let's see, cat Etsy issue. On this system, I'm running a 1204.5 LTS, okay, Ubuntu. Um, and essentially, I'm going to install a 1404.2 .2 LTS on another partition. And the way that you build an LFS is you have to have a host host system in order to use the resources of that host to actually build your LFS system. Okay, so if anybody's new about this, you need a host system that fits the requirements of the LFS version you're trying to build. Okay, and then you're basically going to make a new partition, mount it, install packages onto the new system, your new LFS system. After you've done all that, you can basically delete the host system and just use your LFS. Okay, so if anybody doesn't know how it goes, that's how it goes. So given that, I have a native OS on this hard drive, which happens to be um, Ubuntu 14 or 12.04. Okay, and I also have a swap partition here. Now, what I want to do right now is. I want to use fdisk and I'm going to say dev sda p for print. I'm going to call new partition primary partition 2 uh, first sector is default. I'm going to save this at uh, 8 gigs. Okay. And p for print. Now this new 8 gig partition will be my host OS. In this case, the host OS will be Ubuntu 1404.2 LTS. Okay. Fdisk, nothing happens unless you write and quit it. Or just write it, you don't have to quit it. But now I want to say Fdisk L, which is list. And you can see here I have a new partition um, carved in my hard drive. 
Now just because I have a partition doesn't really mean anything. Because if I run block ID, you see here that I don't have a file system on that partition. My, part, my new partition that I just created here, SDA2, is not on the list. Okay, So I do need to um, format that. So, usually this does not work. I'm going to try this. But I'm going to format journal verbose dev SDA2. Now, if I say make E2FS, a journaled and verbose journal file system is EXT3. So I'm going to format my host OS to an EXT3 partition. Okay. And say it doesn't exist. Why? Because it's still a RAM. Okay. So, that's not a biggie. I can reboot the machine remotely. Let's go check on our download here. This will probably time out. I don't know. Usually happens to me <laughs> that way. Um, like I said, I just made I just made two days of LFS two. So I got all the way up to Core Utils, and I Murphy was working against me that day, today, this morning. But I try not to think about it. Right? Right? Just keep going. Right? Keep going. You gotta keep right. Okay. Yeah. Turn your hat back and just keep going. So, that's what um, that's how LFS goes. You have to have a host partition, which then you use the resources from that host partition, link against them and everything else like that, to build your new LFS partition. And then at that point, you can delete the host system and save your LFS. And that's usually what I do. LFS 7.7. .7. Um, not much has changed um, from 7.6, except for the addition of a few new packages. But uh, everything's pretty much the same. Build time or build specs on this build. Like I said, I'm going to be building for a 32-bit operating system. Why I chose 32-bit? I've been building on 64 bits for at least the last four tutorials, and um, I decided I have an old Pentium 4 laying around. And I have decided that, you know what, maybe I should just do a 32-bit install of LFS 7.7. Uh, because I, I haven't done a 32-bit in a while. So, that's what I am doing. Sue, so, Sue. So, I'm back in my host machine now. I don't want to say host machine. Let's call it native machine. Okay? I'm back in my native machine, which is on my computer. So, remember in our, a few minutes ago... We went ahead and we made a partition for our host machine that we will use to link against um, our LFS. But I never formatted it. So I want to say make E2FS, which is an EXT2FS. Journal makes it EXT3 for boost. Dev SDA2. Now I'm formatting um, where I will have my host partition. Why didn't I let the disk format it itself? I'm here, I'm downloading a disk, I have extra time to kill, I might as well just go ahead and flop it on there. And why am I using an EXT3 partition? It's purely arbitrary. I don't, um, EXT2, super old, okay? It's good for swap, and 2.4 kernels. EXT3 came out, let's call it 10 years ago, okay? And EXT4 came out maybe 2 or 3 years ago. So... EXT3 is okay with me. 4 may have its ups. 3 may have its downs. But to me it's really not that important. And I'd rather use an old standby that I'm comfortable with. And there you go. Okay, so now if I run block ID again. I'll see now that I do have a um, file system on SDA2. It does contain an EXT3 file partition file system. Okay. Alright. Well, this is going to go through its thing. It'll probably time out and die. Um, in which case, I'll just have to download it again. And not a biggie. And, um, hmm, what else can I do while I'm here? Mm, nothing. So, I will uh, call this video, and I'll see you when we get ready to, um, 
Well, I'm gonna burn the video, or I'm gonna burn this, uh, uh, I'm gonna burn Ubuntu 14.04.2. And, uh, what am I gonna do? I'll meet you on the install. Yep, that's how we'll do it. Later on.